For years, several Northwest Iowa communities have been looking for expanded water resources for residents. The Lewis and Clark Regional Water System always seemed to be the answer, but funding for that project failed to meet demand. Now, as KCAU 9's Jacob Russo explains, there's new hope for those Siouxland communities in need of water. He explains why in tonight's top story. Lewis and Clark Regional Water provides water to towns in South Dakota and Minnesota, but it's always had plans to expand into Iowa. Now, thanks to a 15 million dollar grant, they're finally able to do just that, with plans to connect towns in Sioux and O'Brien counties to their pipelines. Leaders from these towns toured the water treatment plant in Vermilion to get a look at Lewis and Clark's progress. I'm kind of excited. I haven't toured the plant before, and we've been waiting for this water for a long time uh, in Sheldon. We're kind of on the end of the run, so to speak. U.S. Representative Steve King also toured the plant. King has been pushing for Lewis and Clark to receive federal funding so the towns can have access to better water. They have access to a reliable, high-quality water because their economic development depends upon it. When you think of the food processing we have in northwest Iowa in particular, um, it takes a lot of water to process food. Now that Lewis and Clark has the funding it needs, it'll be putting in pipes as soon as next year. We're going to put that toward construction of the pipeline between Sioux Center and the Big Sioux River. That's our focus right now, is to get the pipe into Iowa. We struggle with well capacity this uh, the last couple of years with flooding that's happened in the area, and so it would be a great relief to have access to a, another supply of water. Lewis and Clark Regional Water expects to have Sioux Center, Hull, and Sheldon connected within the next few years. In Vermilion, Jacob Russo, KCAU 9 News.